All right, we're in orbit for our EVA. Okay, so we've zeroed out the IVIs, and one thing we can do here is go to map view and double check our orbit, make sure we're okay. You don't want your periapsis to be too low. Okay, we can run the ohms enable checklist. Just gonna have us turn on ohms power and valves. <coughs> Set the control mode to rate command. So that should already be there. Okay, and just real quick, the way that works is we can yaw and then it'll automatically null out your rates. Now we can go to direct. Now direct does not null out your rates, so if you want to spin in a direction, it's a good way to do it. So we can pitch. This is indicating your rates because we're in rate mode right now. Rate. So if we pitch faster, so showing our pitch rate is higher. Okay, so now we're about 180 degrees and now we can roll. So now we should be roughly blunt in forward right now. And we can always drop back into rate command if you want it to null out your rates for you. Fine tune our roll here just a little bit. Maybe our yaw too. Okay. Now it wants us to go prograde. So one thing we can do is we can go into sharpen forward and go into platform mode and it'll automatically put us in prograde
What it won't do is control your roll. I usually do go to direct when I want to do a maneuver. That way I minimize my prop usage. I've got I've got this on to indicate my prop quantity here. Not use pulse, which will do a little minimum impulse changes to your rates. Okay, switch to sharpen forward platform. Take a break. Okay, so we're going to need to get to about 60 minutes. I'm going to pre-pitch here. Somewhat. And then as I time scale, it'll get us back to sharp end forward again. A little bit further. Now let's go back to platform. Let it pitch us back down. Ready for EVA. Pretty sure it's going to have us run these checklists. Now once the center light's red, and this turns on the FDI lights, which lights these up, should be retracting the antenna. that up. Ah, Kevin Research, right. Sure, that has you put on dock instead of EVA lights. Doesn't matter though. 
And then I guess zero out your event timer. enough. Turn off ohms. That was one of the things it mentioned, but the checklist has you do it. So. This is going to dump the pressure in the cabin, which we should be able to monitor here. Now we should be able to open the hatch. And then EVA is here. And there we go. This is trigger right. It's actually trigger left. Now what you're supposed to do here is go to the rear of the spacecraft. It's best to make little tiny control inputs. Okay, so I thrust it a little bit forward there. Now I'm gonna kind of try to get into position here so I, I know when I'm far enough back. Seem to be drifting up too much. Oh, that is going to give me a seizure. <laughs> and then as soon as you grab the backpack, you want to not bump into the spacecraft. So we picked up our fuel here. And now we could re-enter if we wanted to. get into the cockpit. So that would be the next thing that we would want to do here. And unless you feel like you have enough fuel and you want to practice flying. Again, the important thing is it is actually left click to re-enter. I don't know if there's any speed limit, but I 
hit it going pretty fast and jumped in. All right. Close the door. And then you would follow the post EVA checklist when they tell you to. Close the hatch. This repressurizes. So cabin pressure should start going up. You can time scale to make it go up faster. And when it gets high enough, we can turn this off. You can watch our oxygen consumption here. We've used about 94%. All right, so now we need to pick our reentry spot. West coast of the US, use orbital view, and then we can time scale. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So we want something about there, maybe. <laughs> and retro orbital cursor. I think we're about 16 minutes from it. That just barely gives us enough time. I don't know if they meant for that to take longer, um, but you're gonna you need at least 10 minutes for the reentry program to load. So get started on those checklists immediately. Pre-retro. Okay, I'm gonna skip the testing of the lights. Uh, arm blunt in forward go to platform make sure that's going to get you into platform mode that won't do that unless you have your ohms on that may be one thing that's missing so see now it's getting us blunt in forward uh, we could set a timer We're not going to have 20 minutes though. So I'm going to set it to 17. Get our oxygen on. Center lights. Battery, and then back to C. Okay. wants you to use core 19, but that's not going to work until you get your computer loaded, I don't believe. Going to re-entry. This is going to take 10 minutes. So we're going to watch on here for 10 minutes. Okay, light just went off. So reentry program is loaded. Wait for ODPC module to load. Press start on the computer. Now we should be able to read out core 19. So we are at two minute, uh, 262 seconds, I believe is what that is. 
Uh, checklist complete, right. So now we need to start this one. Because that would be 256 seconds. So we should already be past that. We're not going to get to use our timer here, really. Uh, get our batteries on. Get RCS ready to go. Monitor RCS prop. Put this into attitude mode. Rate command re-entry. Ohms off. We don't need that anymore. And give control to the computer. And then you can see that changed here. So now we're going to go RCS. Control attitude. Pitch down. So that good enough. One minute to retro. Okay, we got a few seconds here. So let's check our attitude. Make sure we are blunt in forward like we think we should be. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, that's that's what that window out. That's what the view out the window should look like right now. Yeah, I mean you want to. I'm going to line up your thing here, but that's fine. Okay, so one minute to retro checklist. We're about two minutes. Let's go and get set up. So our next object objective is to separate the adapter. That's going to come up here in just a minute. Um, especially when you're not familiar with the procedures, you can start early. It doesn't really penalize you. So let's go ahead. So pitch down. Ohm. Separate ohms. Push. Separate electric. Separate adapter. That's what this is waiting on. Done. So T minus 30 seconds. Squibs on. And then five seconds. So we're good here. Check our orbit. So yeah, that's looking pretty good. Still a minute out. Uh, I have a keyboard map to read out here, so I'm hitting read out kind of see the button move a little bit. So T minus five seconds, we're gonna arm retros and then wait for them to fire. So this, we just have to push this one button. Normally I'd have this timer going and I wouldn't need to refresh this so much, but I do think I want to get this five. There we go. Push that. So we did that. Wait for retros to fire. They're firing now. a timer from retro at least so technically we were supposed to push that but if they fire automatically you wouldn't need to um, 45 seconds we want retro jettison 
to go amber. Uh, turn down the lights a little bit. Get some serious glare there. So we're going to roll the craft over a little bit, and then we want to get back in the correct attitude here. Okay. Arm. Retro jettison. Post retro jettison checklist. Oh, now one thing we should do here is check our uh, Orbit. So our periapsis should have should be negative, or at least close to zero. Um, all right. So we can just go safe, safe. Turn these off. Get ready for. Re-entry itself. That one goes off. Um, ohms. No more ohms. Fuel cell. Fuel cells are gone. So, uh, arm landing. I don't know what these mean. I need to learn that a little bit. Um, but take note of them. And start entry checklist, which is really going to start at 40,000 feet, I do believe. Oh, no, this one uh, is just hold, keep your attitude, right? You should hit 40,000 feet somewhere around 19 minutes post retro burn. That's why you've got this counter going. And then start landing, which is at 40K. So we'll put that up. So I'm going to kind of cheat here a little bit. I want a time scale. So time scaling. Oh, crossed early. So hopefully we didn't hit 900 G's. Once you get into the atmosphere, you really lose all uh, pitch and yaw control. So you really just have roll control. We're supposed to hold roll 170. You want to roll faster you can go direct and then you can just roll so this should put our lift vector down which would increase our rate of entering the atmosphere if you go too far you'll hit too many G's that's not good we've got this on RCS now so this is showing our RCS quantity. You can see we've already used quite a bit even though we didn't really do all that much. But we do have a B supply that's higher. So. And then we can roll back uh, heads down. That's where we're supposed to be. Yeah, and go back 
get uh, reentry rate command. I do think now this is maybe a uh, range, and so you sh you could roll to try to hit your range target here. But I haven't really had much luck with that in Gemini. So in theory, if we roll over, that should count down faster. So that versus that. Oh. At least at this point in the atmosphere, that's not changing much. I think I may have that backwards though. Uh, this should count down slower now. Because it should increase our rate that we're descending through the atmosphere into a thicker atmosphere, slowing us down more. But now it started counting up. Did did we go past? Let's see where we are on the map too. Way out there. Yeah, I think our zero point was probably here. We probably flew over it and passed it. So now I think our G should go back up with our lift down. And they are indeed increasing again. patient like me you can delay that get down to the ground faster
That's 40k. Like I said, I'm going to wait a little bit on this until we get lower so we get down to the ground faster. This is definitely not acceptable procedure. <laughs> So we're already coming up on 10.5, which is normally where you would deploy your, deploy your main chute, right there. But we're going to go even lower. Let's deploy our drogue. Oh, we should be following this too. We're supposed to turn these. We're supposed to turn that one on. We already did that. Don't care about that. And then before we get to the ground, we want to do that. Parachute, landing attitude, main deploy, done. Of course you can resume mission and complete all of these things too.